Susan Rice is believed to be one of Joe Biden's choices for vice president, but again, questions about her credibility. Now, Susan Rice testified under oath in 2017 that as President Obama's national security advisor, she, quote, was not privy to the FBI's Trump-Russia probe, did not have information about it, didn't know about it. That former uh, FBI director James Kobe never briefed her about it. But then James Comey testified that Rice, in, actually, t James Comey told the Justice Department internal, excuse me, inspector watchdog, the inspector general, that in fact Rice was at a meeting where he briefed Barack Obama about the Trump Russia probe in August 2016, just weeks after the FBI launched its crossfire hurricane investigation. Let's welcome Kelly Armstrong from House Judiciary. Congressman, it's great to have you on. Why is Susan Rice denying knowing about the Trump Russia probe when clearly documents show otherwise that she did know? Well, I'm, I think it's the same as what we saw today in the, uh, in the House testimony, and that's just everybody. Apparently now we're just going to blame James Comey and nobody else is going to take any responsibility for it because that seems to be the convenient way to handle all of this. You know, former FBI Director James Comey, let's, let me dig into this. He told the Inspector General for the Justice Department that he, quote, did mention to President Obama and Susan Rice and John Brennan and James Clapper at a meeting in the Situation Room just a month or so after they launched Crossfire Hurricanes that there were some individuals on the Trump campaign that might have connections to Russia. So Comey said Rice was at this meeting. But then, and then Susan Rice also attends that Oval Office meeting in January 2017 with James Comey, talking about, you know, Russia, talking about Michael Flynn and more. So the question is, there, there have been instances where Susan Rice has said things which are easily disproved by documents. Why is that going on? Uh, you know, I, you can't, you'd have to ask her that, but that's exactly right. You know, they had the meeting on January 5th, and then she sent the by-the-book email on January 20th, which is a really interesting email minutes after President Trump got sworn in. But the only reason you send that email is, it, I mean, it's just, it's a blatant CYA email, but then I don't know why she continues to say this, because as you said, this is easily debunked. And I think there's a reason we're kind of rooting for her to be the vice presidential pick. Is she covering up for Barack Obama? Well, we know somebody at the January 5th meeting mentioned uh, the Logan Act, which is interesting since it's never been prosecuted. We know James Comey has talked about the Logan Act. We know that um, they continue to say General Flynn lied when both the FBI agents stated right after the interview they didn't think he lied. So there is obviously a concerted effort to diffuse blame at the top. And, I mean, right now it seems like James Comey is the whipping boy, but um, that will continue to go. And, they're, I mean, they're obviously, I think she's covering yeah, up for herself. Because as as she's covering up for anybody. And, pre and President Obama at that Oval Office meeting in early January 2017 said to Comey, instead of that meeting, put the right people on it, according to government documents, meaning put the right FBI agents on Michael Flynn, eventually was Peter Strzok. You know, Susan Rice denied to Judy Woodruff on PBS in the spring of 2017 about knowing about the unmasking, the exposure of Trump team members, regular citizens, and U.S. intelligence documents. She denied knowing about that, but declassified documents so show Susan Rice requested directly the unmasking of Trump team members. You know, she's got an issue with the veracity about what happened in Benghazi. Is she the right choice for Biden's vice uh, presidential pick? Well, I, I, I absolutely not, not for the country, but as we're moving forward. And I think that's one of the most important things that came out of the testimony of Attorney General Barr last week in judiciary. You know, in spite of all the noise and all the rhetoric and yelling at him, one of the things I think was the most important takeaway is where he, where he told the committee that he has a separate investigator investigating the numerous unmaskings of Michael Flynn. And if I was Susan Rice, I'd be a little nervous about that as well. All right, Congressman, it's great to have you on. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it.